Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just got back from church and I just want to share this with you. Many of you are caregivers. You either take care of somebody, you're looking after, you're babysitting an adult, a child, whatever. One of the things that many of us forget to do when we're taking care of someone, we forget to apply spiritual warfare. We think Okay, they've got Alzheimer's. It's dementia. They can't help it. What's happening is demons play dirty and they will kick somebody when they're down. They're trying to get to you. They're trying to get on your nerves. And they've got this weak, sick, elderly, mentally uh, weak-minded person. They're not all there. They're not all with it. And demons pounce on people like that to take advantage of you. Now, the purpose is twofold. To cause the adult to be punished for treating you that way. And to cause you to toss them to the curb because you're tired of it. Now, what we forget to do is to bind the enemy, cast out the enemy, come in agreement with the person as much as possible. If they're not in agreement at all, you do it all. But the bottom line is you take authority and you get those demons out of your business because they don't belong, they're trespassing. They're taking advantage of a person while they're down and they're getting at you while you're tired. Let me give you a quick example. I had um, I, I had a conversation this afternoon with a friend of mine. It inspired this tape because a lot of people, they think that it's just dementia or Alzheimer's or some mental debility, a mentally debilitating disease that causes a person to act out of character. Not so, listen, not always so. I won't say not so, but not always so. She was telling me that they had to put someone in a home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the person became belligerent. This was a born again Christian with a very sweet disposition. They became combative, conf confrontational, rebellious, defiant, uh, volatile in temper. That was never part of them while they were walking with the Lord. So this is what I say. When you see them acting like that, you take authority. You don't fuss at them, you fuss at the devil. You command that devil to come out of that person. You rebuke them in the name of Jesus. Here's another quick example. When I took care of my father years ago, my father was very true blue. Even when he was unsaved, you knew where that man was coming from. He didn't speak with forked tongue. He was straightforward. A man's man. And one uh, night, this was maybe four months after I had led him to the Lord, and he was going to church with me while I was taking care of him the whole nine yards. I started, you know, I would give him a hug as usual, and normally he'd reciprocate. Okay, he'd give me my hug. But this time I started giving him a hug and this came out of nowhere. And I would hug him and he'd reach up to get hug me from the wheelchair. And then he'd say, oh, get out of here, get out of my face. I mean, his whole, everything would change. And I'm like, what does he think I'm patronizing him? Now I'm trying to reason it away because he did not have dementia. He was crystal clear as a bell. So there, he was very lucid. There was no reason for that change to come on him like that. For the rest of the day, that kept happening. And I kept trying to figure out what am I doing to offend him? What am I saying? Is it the way I'm hugging him? Does he think I'm treating him like a child? We as human beings tend to try to analyze and figure out why, why, why. I went to choir rehearsal that night. 
I ask them to pray. We bound the devil. We rebuked the devil. I came back home. I sat down and had a talk with my father. I said, do you know why? Do you remember when I hugged you early and you pushed me away, you got angry? He did. He remembered. He said, yeah. I said, Pop, do you, did I do something to make you angry? No. Do you know why you got angry? No. Okay, here's another question. You remember when I was real young and I used to ask you if you believe in God, angels, demons, the devil, hell, all of that? Yeah. I said, you think there might be a demon messing with you? I don't know. Could be. I said, well, why don't we work with that? Why don't we get rid of it together? Okay. And he repeated what I told him to say. I command you to stop using me to push my daughter away in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Everything I told my father to say, he said. And then I said it to the demon in Jesus' name. By the time we got through, it never happened again for the rest of the year, all the way up till the day he died. Never. Sometimes we forget that we're battling invisible entities that will pounce on to a person. They'll light on a person like a fly lighting on garbage. And they will manipulate that person's emotions. And that person has no clear reason as to why they're acting the way they're acting or why they're saying to you what they're saying. Don't take it so personally. Kick the devil in the balls when the devil tries to manipulate and, 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 and work over your loved one. You kick the devil on out the picture. He doesn't belong. God bless you.